<coughs> my my shadow is bigger. I'm in your shadow. You're overshadowing me. Because you keep leaning forwards like that. Good. Look at the abyss behind us. <laughs> the, the darkness. <laughs> it could be could be deep space. In you fact know, it is. I'm looking forward to, to doing this in minus 15 in the winter. <laughs> we can't do it in minus 15 <laughs> because not only will we be frozen, but the cables will be frozen. The phone will be frozen. And um, the viewers will be frozen. <coughs> um, maybe, maybe, maybe the viewers will be frozen. Maybe yes, maybe no. It's practical parenting. Uh, so <laughs> solutions for problems that you don't even know <laughs> that you have yet. <laughs> so, uh, try to act serious. <laughs> if I act serious, then I'm not really being serious because I'm just acting, right? So, uh, I'm just gonna be be myself. Yeah, I'm just gonna be my 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 late day tired self. And if it all goes horribly wrong, <laughs> like it did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, I've shortened, see, improved things today. We have a light, so Ooh. that we can we can be seen in the darkness. Um, we have the small stand that doesn't fall over for the for the phone. Um, ah, I haven't noticed that. You haven't noticed that. No. All, the, all those little things that make big differences, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Do you know, I w <laughs> for some reason I was thinking about bad habits, actually. I was thinking about bad habits and I realized that I've got a lot of them <laughs> that, I, Don't we all? That, I, that, that I need to work on. And one of, <laughs> one of the most ridiculous ones is putting empty things into the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I don't even. I can't yeah. even. You see, I, I don't. Know, I don't I even know. can't even. And then you come to me and you get. You go. Do we have any jam? And I'm like, there are three jars in the fridge. <laughs> yes, <but laughs> they're all empty. I don't look in the jar to see if there's anything in it. I'm just like you jar. Be able to see. There's but probably some jam in it. Yeah. Uh, so you're just like. Sort of quickly scanning the fridge yeah. as you open it, no, and like you're, you're like, "Oh, three jars!" Counting jar the jars of jam. Three, three jars. <laughs> yeah. Three jars. There must be something in one. <laughs> at least one of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, it's it's the jam jars. I, I do it with the milk bottles as well. With the yeah, with the juice, yeah. the juice sometimes. as well. I just putting it back. Yeah. I don't know because if you take it out of the fridge, yeah, when you're finished with it. You put it, in you the put fridge. it back in the fridge. <laughs> huh? Right. Um, uh, you've learned. You've learned how to leave the um, the box of coffee open on the bench when we're the running out of coffee. Like a signal, or or is that, you, is that not that's conscious? All, that's all psychological. I have yeah. noticed that. Congratulations. Hi, well. well, well done. Congratulations that's, that's, on that's, finishing that's your cool, bread. Mate. That's cool, mate. Of course, go, yeah, go, sure, go ahead. Go back to your game, mate, and save the universe from weird-looking droids and, 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 and other things. You know, he was, um, <laughs> you hear him, he was playing a little while ago, singing songs from the sound of music <laughs> whilst playing Star Wars Lego Saga. That's okay, that's okay. He was He was singing some kind of pop song the other day while tidying up his room, what was it? Oh, I just met you, and this is okay. crazy. It's not a pop song. You, you just what made is that, it? You just made that up. No, there it's is a no, song. there is no pop song with it those it with is those a lines. Song. Yes, there is oh, one. I just met, met you. you. There should be. And this is crazy. Here's my number. It'd be better than fifty percent of the turgid yeah, there, there nonsense is, that, that is one pumped of them. out on <laughs> what is an excuse for music radio. And he was going days. on and on and on for about an hour and a half. If I lean forward, I block all the light from you. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's okay. I, I got used to stars. it. Can you see? Oh. Can you see stars, darling? Yeah, I can. How many? Can you count them? Can you count, can you <laughs> count them all? Collect, I can collect, see two of them. Collect, oh. collect them all. Right. I can see more. <laughs> 
baby. <laughs> right. Um, practical parenting. So um, if you've got any comments that you'd, uh, you'd wanna you would want to leave in the chat, you got any questions related to parenting, finding solutions to problems, if you, there's anything related to education that you want us to discuss, if you'd like some hints, tricks, tips, advice, well, you've come to the... Any other S's. <laughs> any other S's. You've come to... The, you've come to... You've come to, you've, you've come to us. So, um, we'll, um, we'll point you in the right direction. We might not have all the answers, but uh, we'll definitely uh, keep you on the straight and narrow. So, so there we go. Um, it's, it's great to see that that video we did the other day got 900 views. Um, I'm, I'm I think that was an accident. <laughs> what do you think somebody viewed it like 900 times by accident? Yeah. By accident. Uh, well, there I guess there 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 are mad things that happen in the world. So um, mm. maybe that did. I'm, 100 views per video. I'm I'm down with that, right? I'm down with 100 views per video and maybe a couple of constructive comments related to. Um, how we can improve things, how we can make things better. I'm being summoned. Uh, you're being summoned. I'm being summoned. Something Some happened with somebody the has bread. Somebody has the dagger. Okay, right. That's another Once Upon a Time reference that no one is going to get. Yes, so, where am I going to put, where, where am I going to put this? You've left me all alone. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm going to have to do this all by myself now. So, um, but that's what happens when you do it live and you got you got three kids, right? Oh, your kids should be in bed by now. Well, we're flexible, right? We're flexible. There's more than one way to do everything, right? There are. If you've got a thousand people, you probably find a thousand different answers, a thousand different solutions to the same problem. So, um, so we like to be open to all of that. Um, I think parents have to be flexible because. You know, you're, they're dealing with, th we're dealing with, 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 with three, bringing three people into the world, which is uh, a huge responsibility. And I'm damn sure that I don't have all the answers to everything that is the right way to be a parent, everything that is the right thing to do. Um, I can tell you what I know. I've got my logic. I've got my reasoning. Um, I'm, pr I'm, I'm open to suggestions and uh, that's backwards. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired as well. <laughs> hey, yeah, maybe we should do this first thing in the morning. Hey, yeah, we could do like that. We could do that. Like everybody would watch this at five o'clock, right? <laughs> well, it's it's not five o'clock everywhere. <coughs> I, that almost sounded profound. Mm. Uh, um, yeah, it's not five o'clock everywhere. Mm. So no, it's four o'clock in Britain. Well, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but people, you know, people catch up with it afterwards, and yeah, you know, I, I, I'm not really very awake in the morning, am I? So I'm not. You're not. I am. I'm not. I'm not really a morning person, am I? I'm a, I, I am a morning. Another person. thing I need to improve. I'm really good at that, actually. Good at what? <laughs> Being a morning person. With the iron. Oh yeah. I'm the iron lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is just so annoying when, when I can't you, when get can't can't, can't, can't get around the kitchen table because you've got this iron at it's your own five fault. thirty in the morning it's blocking your own the fault kitchen because you've changed the direction of the table. You know, it's perfectly <laughs> well, it's fine. Now, it's now traveling in a different direction, is it? What's going it on? It was perfectly fine the way it was originally, and you had enough space to walk around me. But then, then you, then you, kind of twisted the table. Oh, it 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 does create more space in the kitchen, the way that Apart it is. Apart from for me when I'm ironing. You when you're ironing, but you're not ironing all the time, so no, it no, doesn't no, create no, no, a problem no, all like the time. Once a week. There you go. At Five thirty in the morning. Five thirty in the morning. Yeah, which is which is the it's the ideal time to iron. Yeah. I wonder if there's an infographic on that. Well, you know, like the the I best, ideal best ideal iron. Chores. There are infographics about the most ridiculous things, like uh, 
the, to pick your left nostril. The sleep cycle of bees, or uh, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, the usual thing. All right. <laughs> The, the the usual insanity. Um, so, there was a story, right? No. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, a real story. You were t you you were you were telling yes, me that there was something yes. in the news. That was a today. story in the in the news today. Or, or on the internet in the, uh, or somewhere. Uh, in, in, in Slovakia. Nienie <laughs> <laughs> the what? Yes. Can you say that forwards? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it was a very interesting story. It was about um, um, a rule on one of um, Slovak high schools in Košice um, that was put in place Big city. by the director and that has been approved by the school council. Um, and what they did is they decided that a certain group of students that are above the um, age limit of the uh, compulsory school attendance in Slovakia. So what what is the age of compulsory school that's, attendance? Yeah? That's 6 to 16. So all the students so Wait, wait, wait. 6 to 16. I thought yeah, it was 10 tw years. I thought it was 12 to 16. No. 6 no, to 16. Did, did, I, did I misread the uh, the law? Yes. Then. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, you've got 10 years of compulsory school attendance, 6 to 16. I peeled apple. And I want to peel apple. I can't peel it. I'm, I, I don't have any utensils here. Yeah, well you Would you like me to go to the kitchen and peel it for you, my darling? Yeah. Okay, can I finish the story first? It's going to take me one minute, okay? Okay, I'll be oh. right there with you, darling. Just... She's so sweet. No. Okay, I'll keep it. I'll peel it in the kitchen, yeah? So this... Um, unless unless Will knows what a peeler is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or you could just take Yeah, I will. Door. I'll just finish talking, okay? Okay. Okay, it's going to take me one minute. So, so this rule said that all the students above the age of 16, so that it's all legal, right, uh, don't have to go to school. Basically said, you know, you don't have to come to school um, if you don't want to. It's that why would he say that? Well, why, 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 why would anybody say to a group of people who are desperately wanting not to go to school that they don't have to do it? Not to school. Because I know, sweetie. Knowing that maybe I should go and do that first because <laughs> it's gonna, it's just going to go on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Priorities. I think priorities, that she, she yes. should have the apple. <coughs> the, the priorities of those closest to us. Right. I should try to put this down carefully, not knock everything over like I did yesterday. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to talk a little bit about what what what's happening I in terms of logic disappearing from the school the school environment where. Uh, I think if it's forced, it's it's failed. If you have to force people to do something, then the logic has gone. The log the the reasoning is is missing. Because if you've got a good reason, then everyone's gonna gonna listen to you. They're gonna follow what you're doing. But if you don't have a reason, if you don't have logic, if you don't have if you don't have a method within what you're doing, you've only got madness, basically. And um, and so there, there's a lot of that in the education system where 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 things are forced. I mean, think about it. If um, if there was a government monopoly on computers, think about the quality of of the computers that would be produced. If there was a government monopoly on <laughs> <laughs> you get like one computer every three or four years. And I mean, just like one computer <laughs> being produced, right? Um, if there was a government monopoly on 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 cars, then then the, the quality would would just not be there. And they, so they would have stolen all the money, so there would be no cars. Well, there would be something to justify everything, but it would be poor quality. 
basic, basically, they at would the just end of the day. point fingers on each other, saying, Zeus fold, Zeus fold. Yeah, it's the, it's the gun to the head argument that School Sucks project presented. I first heard it there, which is that there's there's no difference between... This is, this is pretty controversial, and uh, teachers don't like... I have, to, I have to alienate myself from the entire planet. Teachers don't like it when it's pointed out that there's very little difference between the government and the mafia. Um, just one is putting a visible gun to your head, and the other one is putting an invisible gun to your head. Well, if you didn't have one, you'd... Yeah, I get the argument. Yeah, for sure. For sure, if you didn't have to deal with one, you'd probably have to deal with the other. But um, as I said, reason, reason and logic are, you know, the, the keys to the philosophical kingdom, really. Can I finish my story? Good, because I was just ranting about it. I don't yes. know what that, okay. okay, so this guy observed hmm. how this worked in other countries, for example, in Finland, where, where they have a f system working. Like is it this. Finland? They don't have to go to school until they're six or seven, right? Se I think seven, yeah. Seven, yeah. okay. So there's a lot of time for bonding and development. Yes, and, yes. And Let me speak. Person. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, you keep jumping into what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I I'm just never going to finish this story if you keep doing that. Anyway, that's okay. So <laughs> we can we can have a part it's not two. Okay. <laughs> so he observed how it worked in Finland, and that's why he decided to try it in his school, and he tried it. And they had actually good results, you know. They put it down as an experiment. They they um, um, they decided they were going to do it for a certain period of time, not indefinitely. Okay. And that they were going to jot down the results so that they see if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. And uh, it appeared to be a good thing because actually the attendance went up. The attendance went up when the headmaster said, don't come. Yes. You don't so need to come. When the pressure was taken off the kids, and they did no longer feel like they were in prison, right? Mm -hmm. They actually decided, you know, I think they were forced to think about it, and they decided to come, and it was oh, their decision. I haven't forgotten this before, you know? I think. And they would, uh, I don't know, that that's, that's where the article finished, but I would imagine that they would probably be more active as well, because if you want to be there, you're not just going to sit back and suffer through it, right? Well, you've, you're, you you have to make a choice, right? It changes then, the, then, the mindset you, of the student. Well, completely. you then you then become responsible for your own education very suddenly, yes. and you can't point the finger at anyone. Did you say that? I think you said that. You can't you can't point the finger at anybody else, right? You can just all you can do is look in the mirror and say, um, "It was me." Yeah, I didn't yeah. I, I I didn't do the work. I didn't study hard enough. I had now. One of the things I, l I, l I love about Slovakia, even though I'm, I'm hypercritical of, of all systems, one of the things I love is that the flexibility where I've had students that I teach privately that uh, should be in school, but they're not. They just don't go. They don't go to school for a day or a couple of days. Some even miss weeks. And, and they're not... They, they're not missing out on anything because they're not ducking school to do nothing. They've got other things that are important for their lives. I had one student last year that didn't go to classes in school in the morning, but they went to the gym. Mm -hmm. And they they explained it to me as like going to the gym is far more important to me than, than being in class because yeah. I know that I want to be healthy and that I want my body to look good. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm preparing myself for the future in that way. And school doesn't, doesn't do that for me. So, yeah. And she knew that she could catch up with the work that she needed to catch up by getting notes from her other friends yeah. uh, in school, basically. Yeah. I, I, I did a, well, I didn't do a lot of going to the gym. <laughs> no, really? I did a lot of skipping school and, and I knew that I would be able to catch up yeah. anytime. See, I couldn't do that in Britain because we all had school uniforms. And it, okay, there was, there, was, there was an entrance way into the school. Mm -hmm. There wasn't like a big gate, but it was almost like an invisible force field. Yeah, okay. where once you once you arrived in the morning, um, you, you there there was no reason to leave the grounds. Okay. So anyone in a uniform who was seen kind of wandering towards the gate was <laughs> was sort of fr frowned upon, and the of the office was in such a position that they it was <laughs> that like that the headmaster could see. 
Mm -hmm. And the staff could see anyone who was going towards the gate. So that they, they knew everything that, that was going on. Um, well, my high school was a historical uh, it was a historical gymnasium, right? It was the secondary grammar school, do you call it? No? Don't know. It was a, it was no. a, it was a historical school, uh, one of that, the what, what oldest ones. And that means that it was in the original building, situated right in the center of the town, in a big historical building, which was right next to another big historical I saw, church building. I saw the Stushkova video. Yeah. I saw that party video, and that that was. Uh, I, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that was my school. Your mother showed me this. Too. And <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> and that means that you came out of the building, and. Stushkova is graduation, by the way. It's graduation, yes. end of end of school. Yes. It's life, a graduation time, party. Graduation party, kind of prom. So type you of got thing. out of the historical building, and you were right in the middle of everything. You had no uniform whatsoever, so. You were completely inconspicuous. Well, that was it. I used to um, fine, you know. I used to hang out in uh, dodgy bar in, uh, <laughs> on, the, on the other side of town. <laughs> How can you hang out in a dodgy bar when you are seventeen in Britain, where where they will, you know, where you need to be twenty-one to even I'm talking, enter I'm a talking dodgy about a bar? Of, I'm talking about a couple of years ago. Right. Oh, I'm I thought you about were talking about you were skipping I, school and, I, and hanging out I couldn't in a dodgy bar. <laughs> my, mom, my mother was a teacher. Okay. I had to walk into class sometimes and, and drag me out in front of the other students. It was uh, <laughs> she knew where I was every second of of the day. You know, every time she entered the staff room, she got a report from another teacher about me. So I couldn't I couldn't put one foot wrong. I was, it was like walking around on eggshells the whole time I was at school. It was oh an absolute God, nightmare for the whole. Probably. I can't, you know, it, it, you, you tune in and get used to it so much so that you can't imagine what it's like to not have a parent in the school, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't, you can't actually imagine what it's like to go to school and not have a mum or a dad there actually in the school. And it's kind of weird because you'd say bye in the house in the morning and you'd get to school and your parents And you say hi, right? <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, um, you kind of had to pretend that you... To pretend that this woman was not your mother the, right. whole, the whole time. Uh, which was uh, a kind of odd situation to that be in. It must have been really odd. You couldn't... I mean, I, I, it probably forced me to be better, or either, it, or that, or it forced me just to bury everything deep inside and you know stick my head between my legs and. You didn't have you didn't have the freedom to do stupid stuff and hoping that you'd get away with it. Because there was no hope you'd get away with anything. I couldn't, right? I couldn't do anything, and then <laughs> as if that wasn't enough. At, 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 on odd days, you'd have other. Other teachers coming to visit you at home because the teachers are friends of teachers. So it was as if you didn't That's get enough. That's always awkward. Oh my god! I had yeah. that happening once to me um, when your mother was a teacher as well. She not teach. She you. is, but we had no. She didn't teach me. No, no. no. She taught. Uh, no, she taught in a school, um, and she didn't really like it very much. Um, <laughs> Wait, your, your mother was a teacher who didn't like teaching. She did, no, and I'm not saying she didn't like teaching. I'm saying she didn't exactly like the school that she was teaching. Oh, okay. Okay. She didn't feel that it was the uh, right social environment for me. And so I went to a different school. Isn't that really weird? Because my mother did exactly the same thing. Well, I guess that's the insider's info, right? She saw what was and wrong in that school and she didn't want you to have it. Yeah, but isn't that weird? We never talked about that before. That, that the same thing happened with primary school. I never went to local primary school because my mother thought it wasn't good enough. Good enough. So she sent me to another also, one. Also, my mum uh, also had another thing because her parents were both teachers, right? Oh no, teachers producing teachers producing yes. more teachers. And How she quaint. had the experience of having uh, her mother and her father in the same school where she went to. And she didn't want the same thing for me because she said it was horrible. <laughs> oh. so, you know, she was Showing like, some kind of understanding. Yes, she was like, I'm not going to do that to you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. She hmm. eventually had to do it to my sister for about two years. 
or so because yeah. yeah. my sister had to change schools and blah 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 but uh, mm-hmm. but she didn't want to do that I was okay my sister was like ah it's okay it's no problem because my mom tried to you know not interfere too much into my sister's school life yeah it's because she was interfering with everybody else's school life isn't yeah, it? So, exactly. so there so there she didn't go. need to she didn't need to no didn't anyway yeah I had the same situation where uh, where my ex um, ex Slovak language teacher came visiting and, and, and went to parties with us because they became friends with my parents and and my ex teacher uh, would go to like skiing trips with us and things like that and it was always very awkward uh, you know she'd teach uh, me for four years and then for the next two years I had somebody else and, and that's when when they started socializing with my parents okay okay anyway so, um, okay. thank Weird. thank you very much <laughs> for sorry. bringing in on your history I'm sorry it's very nice I'm sorry uh, I know it's not interesting uh, we'll make it interesting by by, by you know drawing it back to the, the headmaster so this this headmaster said to the kids you know you don't have to come yeah and more of them came. To, more of them went to yes. the school. Yes, yes, exactly. He also said, "If you don't feel like it, on a given like, day, I never felt like going to school. Anything. You can just sit at the back of the class, and and you can just do your own stuff. You don't have to be active. What does that mean do your own stuff? Well, it's like read a book, or you know, you don't have to go to the front of the class and solve math problems on the blackboard or whatever. You can just sit back. Do they still do that? Are we still in? Are we? Are we still in the blackboard age? They did. They did. They did it with me there. Now you've got the whiteboard age, I think, because my mom said that they have whiteboards. The blackboard became the whiteboard, and (laughs) oh no, that's it. That's it. That's it. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, and guess what happened next? <laughs> Do you know that they're, ban- that they're actually banning that in some schools? What? They're banning the words whiteboard and blackboard because they actually think that Do they have to use the people. old dusty board and the new dustless board? Uh, they'd probably like use chalkboard and... Marker board. Marker board. Hey. Yeah, there, there. It sounds yeah. like some kind of sport. <laughs> you know, what? you've got no. skateboard and you've got wakeboard. <laughs> you've got marker board. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Mike. So do you know what happened <laughs> next to this director? Oh dear. Uh, wait. Um, so he had a good idea and mm-hmm. he did something that uh, improved. System. It improved the system and the quality of education uh, for the students, and I imagine that uh, there was a sort of general positive atmosphere. Everything was going well, so he—I don't know—he probably got dragged through, probably got tied to the back of a horse and dragged through the the, the town naked. Almost. <laughs> almost. Almost. Okay. No, he got fired. He got fired by the government <laughs> because uh, you're not allowed to to question the system. They said what he did was illegal, even though it wasn't. And they fired him. They fired him? Yeah. Um, <laughs> because he Oh, sorry. Was I'm, I'm, um, I'm not... He had to stop... So he had to stop um, working as, um, as a director, so maybe he... Oh, they demoted. They demoted. He couldn't fire him because he'd, he'd end up like taking him to court. They'd have to give him like a. They'd have to like give a him a lot of money for firing him, anyhow. Give him yeah, like so a rap on the sorry, knuckles. They didn't, it's a bad boy. They didn't fire yeah. him. That was a okay. wrong, wrong word. It's my um, language barriers. Demoted. demoted him. Yes, they demoted, they demoted him. him. Which doesn't look good on your career record. Obviously, basically. and probably basically. on your paycheck either. <laughs> oh my God. So, um, so what what does that tell us about the state of the of of the state state system? Don't try to improve anything, otherwise you get punished. That's another thing that that that, that riles me, gets 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 on my nerves, is that um, when people fail, and they they ask for more of something because because they they failed. Now, and the context of that is is like the finances and money. Oh, if you just give us more money, we'll solve this problem. It's like well, no, you won't. it's like <laughs> well, if money if the money you got before didn't solve it, how come more of the same thing that didn't solve it is going to solve it the next time? I mean, hello, 
logic. It's a bad logic. business model. <laughs> it's, it's not a model at all. It's just it, it's it's well actually, actually, it's a great business model. <laughs> Is it? It's a great business model, except that you know, um, except that eventually you run out of other people's money. Exactly. So, uh, so somebody has to pay for it. The fact that people can't see that the future generations of kids are going to have to pay for the present laziness, idiocy, and lack of l logic. That's my theme today. Lack of logic. Lack of logic shown by those who should know better because they have more experience. It's just, it's, it's just insane. So, uh, yes, well, it's better. What you want? No schools is better. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want anyone to be forced to do anything. Why should, as I said earlier, as I said, like when, when you were solving one of those problems through there, um, that, that force is failure. When you, you, you don't have an argument, you don't have reason, you don't have uh, skills for persuasion, so you, you just end up with this uh, visible or invisible gun that you put to somebody's head and say, okay, this is the way it's going to be, and that's that, which is kind of and the education system. Well, it doesn't, because people are individuals, and you, you can't just, they're not, you, 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 you can't treat people like, I don't know, I, like, you don't even know what. Like, like I don't know, like like, rock. <laughs> like 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 something on a production line where mm -hmm. you're trying to model everyone to be exactly the same. It, it's diversity that creates the variety and beauty of things that exist on this planet. You know, imagine every tree looked exactly the same, or uh, every flower was the same color, or something. It, it's just. Uh, you forcing, forcing to do anything just creates a power. Well, struggle. the the universe is about motion and, and fluidity and, and and the movement of things. And so when you when you fix something so solidly and 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 have these rules, it's okay for a game, right? But the game has to end at some point in time, right? It's okay for this these short periods where the game ends. But um, if you had to follow the rules of any particular sport through your whole day for twenty four hours, you, you, it would be completely insane. So well, how do you work in a business? You you set some rules for your business and you follow them, and as soon as they stop working, you alter them, and then you go on, right? Shouldn't that be the same model for everything else? Yeah, you, including you, you, the education you, system. You 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 review, you assess, you correct, you improve, and you, you move forward. But they create, you know, oftentimes they create the illusion of doing just that while, while not moving anywhere. Because every single government, right, when a government changes and the okay. school ministry changes, I'm fine, thank you. They will review she and said. assess and evaluate and they will make changes that are not really changes. You know, they would change the books that the children have to learn from, or change the type of writing that the kids are allowed to learn like they did. Just, okay. you know, oh, it cha uh, changes the illusion of progress. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, so they act like change, they're the changing the, the system for better, but you know, it's all within the same... Uh, the, 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 there's another side to it, though, right? We just moved back... To Backed. <laughs> moved back. No, the, you, oh, you, you rewind. <coughs> we just moved back uh, to the town from living out in the countryside, right? Yes. And living out in the wilds uh, led me to see how schools are an opportunity for people to. Uh, stretch out beyond the the narrow confines of, of the environment that they're sort of born into or don't have mm -hmm. much control over. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, for a lot of people, school is uh, is that that wonderful opportunity to to es escape and be be better. Yet yet at hold the thought, hold the thought, hold the thought. <laughs> Yet, at the same time, if everyone who's got the brains to work on themselves and improve themselves and be better does it and leaves, what does that leave behind? You know, what, what, what does that leave behind? Because you've got all the educated people getting sucked out of the country, countryside. 
in the various parts of the cities and then sucked from cities into bigger cities. And, you know, what is what does that leave behind? Uh, it, is it going to be that there'll be, there'll be nobody left in the villages? Well, no, uh, because what, what people are doing is they get out of the countryside, they go into the city, they educate themselves, they maybe, maybe use that as the beginning of their career, but lots of um, young families are coming back to the countryside because they know the city and they don't want to bring their children up in the city. So they still what? work in the city, but they go to live in the countryside. Okay, a lot of richer people live on the outskirts of town, right? Yes. But I, I'm not sure that they're, I'm not sure that that's a good idea. Um, because all of the, all of the modern facilities and help that, that people need is, is within the town. Now, I'm all for being out in the countryside and, and I love it and I think that it's, it's, it's good to have those connections and remember where you came from and not think that, you know, the world isn't, is some kind of automatic place that's designed just for you to give you everything you need or whatever. You know, you got to put, put in the work to make everything work. But um, um, the the amenities and facilities and support that that towns provide is is is, is pretty important. And I'm not sure if and you, what are the people, what are those more intelligent people escaping from? You know, it it, it why are they? Maybe if the they're cities escaping are better, why are they from. Going away? Maybe they're escaping from the fixed mentality of the others, but especially created by the fact that they have been forced into things that they didn't want to do, like going to school. Hmm. Well, the, I'm all for choice and real, real choice. Real choice is when you can say no and it's okay. You can say no and there's no punishment, there's no repercussion, there's, there's nobody dragging you over hot coals there's there's nobody being resentful or yeah. bitchy to you but beh behind your back real choice is that that ability to say thank you but no thank you and uh, and and that's okay and we we don't give that we we don't trust young people enough to give them to give them that option um yeah. And 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 I think we should. We don't we don't trust that they understand the consequences or the possible consequences. Sometimes we think we know what the consequences will be, and and we're wrong. Well, well, that's that's also true. That uh, that we there is that which is predictable and that which is unpredictable. There's this, the certainty and the uncertainty, as, mm -hmm. as Tony Robbins describes it. Um, which are two of the essential factors of life. You perhaps know that, you know for sure you're going to have a meeting with someone, but you don't know exactly what they're going to say in the mm -hmm. meeting. So each, each each life is a balance and a mix of those things. You you know that you're going to meet your friends in the bar for a drink, but you don't know all of the people that are going to be in the bar at that point in time. So so the, the certainty and uncertainty are, are key parts of everything. They're, they're the... The, the jail that keeps everything together, really. Maybe it's the best, the best age for the uncertainty, because that's when you've got guts, right? What, when you're unsure? No, when you're young. When you're young, <laughs> when you can't... <laughs> do, do, do when I you, miss that point? What? When you maybe don't, don't, don't see the consequences that the adults are, well, the adults, or that the older people are scared of for you. That's the when you should... consequences that the older people are scared of for you. Yes. You know, like oh, that the older people are taking away your yeah. responsibility because they think it's going to yeah, and they're like oh, you, you cannot do. You have to go to university because if you don't, you're never going to be rich. You're going to be poor. You're going to end up working in the mine. <laughs> hi, hi, mine Rob. Again. Hi, you Rob. Know? I've been following Rob stuff. It's it's pretty cool. Anyway, and um, um, and the 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 young people that they might not take it as seriously or th they're not as scared as, as the older people are and, and maybe that's... You mean young people are more open? Well, yeah, that's what we talked yeah. about with the, the growth and the fixed and mindset. Great. And that's when, that's when they can take risks and that's when they can grow. So they should be supported. 
trust. Yes. Let's trust young people to make the right decisions. And, and I think they, a lot of people will be surprised. And if they F something up, then you have to trust that they will take the consequences. We have to trust with our kids as well. Like when 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 we ask them, you know, what 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 do you want to eat? What do, what do they want to eat? Yeah. Um, you trust them to say to say no to the sweets, right? You got some examples of that, right? Yeah, absolutely. I've got great examples to that. <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> like uh, when you know, often, often, mm-hmm. um, because in Slovakia, all the you know old grannies in the street are all very happy to give out sweets to random children. So it happened. <sighs> A hundred times, you know, <laughs> we went on a bus and at the bus stop, when we were waiting for the bus, there'd be this old granny and she'd be going, oh, look, wait, I have something for you. And she'd fish out the sweet and, and the kids would go, no, thank you. Yeah. you know? There's something wait. happening. So, mommy, uh, I don't what? There's something very loud happening. I'll go and check it out. Have fun. <laughs> very matter of fact this evening, aren't you? Right. Oh, very matter of fact this evening. What were we talking about? No, we're talking trust. I want to talk about trust. Trust, trust. If there's no... This is, this is, a, this is a Stephen Molyneux point, right? The, the, if there's no trust in the relationship, then there's no relationship, basically. So, if, you, if you're not trusting your kids... You're not trusting yourself, because where, where's, where's that non-trust coming from? That's going to rub off as well, and then the kids are going to pick up on it. The kids are going to feel it, and so you got to trust that your kids are going to make the the right choices, and you got to trust that your kid, the kids are going to understand that if they make the wrong choice, they'll learn from the consequences of it. You 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 can't protect them from all of the hard choices that that need to be made, or they're going to have to make an important choice at a certain point in time, like, oh, what course do you want to... I remember the, um, you know, the, the, the school guidance counsellor who was just a, you know, it's about as useful as a wet blanket. And um, he was <laughs> on, a, on a rainy day. Um, <laughs> so he, I remember him asking, so what do you want to do in the future? I'm like, oh, my God, somebody's asked me? Uh-huh. Um, 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 can I, like... Can I have a couple of years to think about it, please? Yeah, I know. Because it's a pretty important. What are you doing? <laughs> Batman. Oh, no. Um, I'm cold. Oh, are you sharing your blanket with me? Yes. It's not wet. This is <laughs> <laughs> Linus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> yeah, the... the so the guidance counselor wants wants you to make a decision about what you want to do in the future. I'm like, oh my god! I mean, I I got enough problems balancing my my hormones, not fail, <laughs> <laughs> not not failing the, the 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 tests that have been thrown at me, and and now I have to decide what contribution I'm going to make to the world after never having the, the freedom to make any of those choices before. It's, it's, That's a good point. Wild. You know, they never ask you anything and then suddenly they pop a question like that. And they're like, now, it's not now a, think for yourself. Well, it's not a real, it's not <laughs> a real, it's not a real question because they, 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 they remove your, your, your ability to, as an individual to make those decisions and then they just... You know, the, I understand it's the scientific management of society. They got to get these, like seven percent of people have to work in this area, and thirteen percent of people have to work in that area. And we we need we need mechanics and doc- doctors over there, and 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 accountants over there. Even though I can't work out what account, so what accountants actually so provide to, to to the world. To be very honest. So you had like a edge. What do, what did you call it? This is really Consulted. hurting my back. Putting it on. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. It's just it's pulling. Keep you know, the I blanket to, to myself then. <laughs> I, it's because it's because today I had a couple of clients and uh-huh. I had to go to their offices uh-huh. and I had to sit in their uh-huh. seats in their offices, uh-huh. which were obviously designed for very short meetings, uh-huh. and it was really painful. Uh-huh. And I was I was in one doctor's office and they had those old. Russian seats that were in every home that were supposed to be like comfortable armchairs. 
but the arms were were wooden and they were inclined so that you lean back and you know you, okay. know, you know what I'm talking about, do you? I'm not sure. Anyway, they were re they were really un uncomfortable and you know okay. they were very small as is most of the furniture in this country, as if the previous generation were all dwarves or something. I'm not quite sure what happened, but. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but you know, everybody is pretty huge it swings, now. It swings, it swings, it swings one way, then it swings back the other, doesn't it? So, uh, <laughs> sorry. We, um, I don't go. know what I, w I wanted to say something, but I forgot we'll put what your it arm was. Around me later. Okay. I'm just. I'm just oh. No, it's okay. Uh, if you've got uh, pains, I can understand. Pain. Pain is my middle name. I will work through it. And I just dropped my pen. There we go. <laughs> no, oh look, look I've, I've actually, it's actually balancing on the sign. cable. Look, there we go. That's Pick a bad sign. <sighs> At the other end. Um, Anyhow, yeah. Yeah, decision. Trust. Oh, yeah, I was, oh. yeah. Sorry, no, um, nothing. No, please. No, no, no it please. was just that. Please. I was just, I was just thinking, you had some kind of special consultant that asked you that question. Or, who was that? Counselor? What, what, what? was that? Oh, what a guidan a guidance counselor. A gu guidance counselor. What was that? Was that like a school psychologist or something? What kind of person was that? Because we didn't. It was a person like who had no experience of guidance, obviously. or counselling, <laughs> and very little of counselling. I mean, if you end up as a guidance counselor, you've obviously got very little guidance in your own life. So how you can help anybody else, I've got no idea. He was probably the last person in the world that anybody would want to take advice from. He was, um, um, you know, a, a, a job. You know, so a jo is that a job? Is that a job? My right, the Daily Mail today. I don't know. Right? We, didn't, we didn't have that. The Daily, <laughs> the Daily Free Mail that I that I put out today. My uh -huh. my rant about, about sports. Sports. It was my negative rant about sports because I've put out a lot of positive stuff about sports and teamwork. So I thought I'd put out a negative rant today about. About you know, is it is it like these these things that people do? Like, is it a is it a job, right? A, a, a guidance counselor, somebody actually get paid for that? Do they produce any value? Are they account accountable for anything bad that happens in the future? It, is any school accountable for any of that stuff? No. I mean, it it it, no. it 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 it's just insane. I mean, at least in my school, I can say I've got ninety nine plus. Per percent rate, percent rate of success with preparing students for exams and everything else that goes on. It's something right? measurable, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and no school has got any statistic about the future success of 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 of, of its clients or, or whatever. Not to mention other stuff which you can't get into, like the school to prison pipeline. But uh, if you're if you're interested in keywords, put that into Google, and you'll be surprised at um, how failure in school leads almost directly to some kind of uh, uh, criminal activity for uh, for a large number of students. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll rant, I'm yeah. rant, rant. Okay, uh, trust, right? Yeah, trust. Trust. So, trust. I. I I am more and more and more drawn to the, this element of, of, of trust where if there's no trust in any kind of relationship, there can't be anything positive there. There, there really can't. If, you're not, if, you, if you can't just let things be, you're slowly erasing the world around about you. And I know I'm guilty of doing things like that myself in my own, in my own personal life, but I am aware of it, and that's where things can begin to change when you start to when you start to to become aware of them, and trust, especially with them. Um, you know, the the whole world is designed on the principle of trust, right? Everything is trust. When you go to a supermarket and buy something, you don't know where it came from. You don't know if the information on the label is correct. You didn't package it. You weren't. In the factory, you didn't pick it. Everything is based on the principle of, of trust. Yes. You know, if you're in a coffee shop drinking the coffee and it's a, and someone says, "Oh, this is Guatemalan coffee," you don't know if it's from Guatemala. <laughs> you don't know if it's from Gua <laughs> it's Guatemala. I don't know. You don't know if it's from Guatemala, Venezuela, Costa Rica. You, 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 or you, you don't even know if, if, it, if, it, if it's coffee or if it's just you know some dirt that someone's 
dug up somewhere. So, and the person working in the shop doesn't know because they're just, you know, picking up the delivery of the coffee in the jar that's got the label on it. And the manager probably doesn't know because they didn't package the stuff. So the whole world is built on this principle of, 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 Trust. Of trust. If there's no trust, there's there's nothing. You have to trust that people are going to get up and go to work in the morning and drive the buses and 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 uh, I don't know, man the checkouts and 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 uh, you know, go to the power stations and keep keep the lights on, right? Um, you, you know, I was thinking about that when uh, <laughs> when I was thinking about this house that we live in, this uh, this block of flat. Oh, this house. <laughs> where you're. Uh, well, you're trusting every single person in the block of flats that they're not going to set their flats on fire. Oh, I was thinking about that as well. Like you know. if, you know, someone's got like uh, one of those, it's burning a candle or something, right? Yeah. You, you trust that they're going to remember to blow out the candle before yeah. they leave the flat. You, do, and, you uh, trust that they're going to lock the downstairs doors or close the downstairs doors, that they're not going to leave it open so that you don't find a... A, a hobo downstairs or something, you know? There were, I, I, in the last place that I stayed in before before I came here, uh-huh. there was a, I went out of the flat and went down the stairs in the morning. There was this guy just lying there yeah. in the middle of the stairs. Yeah. I and mean, yeah, I, I mean, I get it. I I, I totally get the, I, I, the, I, I those worried, people's point of view, you know, but... Thought Still. he might. I mean, I, I wasn't sure if he was drunk or dead or yeah, homeless yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, to... Shook yeah. him and said, "Are you okay?" And he was like, "Yeah." I said, "Okay." He doesn't want seem to be <laughs> disturbed. <laughs> I just don't. I just did hopefully he'll over, right? wake up and leave. Mm. <laughs> right. Anyway, yeah. So we're trusting a whole lot of people that we don't know at all that everything's gonna be okay. That we're not gonna burn down tonight, right? Yeah. Well, you're you're, you're trusting your neighbour to not have a techno party every other night and I, I know from Facebook that uh, the people do pe- it happens right it, it happens um, and we had we had once experience I, with that I, didn't we I've got a lot of experience laundry list as they say of experiences yeah. uh, I, I don't know how I got this far without um, disassembling someone Anyway, because you're um, such a peaceful individual. Peaceful parenting. <laughs> <Free. laughs> you count to ten. <laughs> parenting. <laughs> <laughs> breathe yeah. in, and as you breathe out, say <gasps> peaceful parenting. <sighs> it works usually, yes. Works peaceful happy. parenting. <sighs> you know, actually, I was thinking today. Today, I was thinking. You just said that twice. And I was thinking about... <laughs> <laughs> Three times. Peaceful parenting. And I thought, this is not what it should be called. Because okay, okay. when you say peaceful parenting, it suggests... It, it, it oh, hello. Hi, darling. Would you like some milk? Yeah. I finally get to well. talk over Dad's rant. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, well, Will, Will should be. Will, Will, Will's, Will's old playing. enough to... Will's completely playing. Darling, go to Will and ask him to get you some milk, yeah? He'll do that for you. And if and if he doesn't get you some milk, come back here. Will, Will can Will, you get some milk Will, for Jazzy, please? Please. And, Jay, and good news. Good yeah. news. Yeah. Almost as far as Paul's race in the game. I've won the race. You won the, you won the race? Yeah, in the game. Good job. That is good news. Good job he won Ezra Pond race on Tatooine. I, thought, I, t- I had to win it for him last time when he was playing. Cool. He, couldn't, he couldn't do it himself. So Anyhow, anyway. good, jo- good job, Will. Um, good job, Daddy. Yeah, so I thought, when you say peaceful good job, parenting, good job, everybody. Well only done. talks about, it only tells you that you shouldn't be shouting and, and hitting and, and um, punishing violently, basically. Right? It's okay. a peaceful parenting. It sounds like, okay. Um, in the, not in the dishwasher. Oh my god, I have to Cup. go. <laughs> there's no cups in the drawer. There's, uh, no, there's bowls. Bowls, okay. You I have to take it off there because that's okay, what sorry. makes things fall down. Hmm. Anyway, so, 
we've got this drawer in the uh, in the kitchen, yeah, and uh, we, we created a special drawer lower down that the kids can go into, and they've got all their stuff. So whenever they need something, they can go and get whatever they need from 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 their drawer. It's a bit of uh, uh, I kind of want to say devolving power, but that's, that's kind of not not what it is. It's, it's giving responsibility to them to uh, to be able to look after their their things. I was just. Um, Commenting on the little drawer that you made for the, uh, the so the kids can go in and get their own stuff yeah. out, out of their out of their own drawer when they need, so yeah. they don't have to ask us usually. Yeah, usually so, not so today though. Okay. That's cool. Anyway, peaceful <coughs> parenting basically tells you that you should be peaceful, right? You shouldn't be shouting or or hitting anybody. Or I'm you shouldn't gonna lose it. kill you if you don't get to the point. <laughs> and the point is that it should be called respectful parenting, not peaceful parenting. Uh. Because it's all about respect. It's not about the tone of your voice. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. It's not about whether you're shouting or whether you're story. speaking quietly, right? It's about how you act in the relationship with your children. It's all about respect. It shouldn't be called respectful parenting. In a peaceful way. Because it's... Well, you, can, you cannot be respectful okay. in I've a peaceful them. way. I've seen I've, them. A, there's a really big face book group called Non-Violent Parenting, which is just, <laughs> the, the title, just as like... A, as opposed to violent yeah, parenting. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It, it, it just suggests that there's, an, there's another side, right? The, like parents who just, who are just, I want, there's probably a Facebook group for violent, so violent, violent parenting. parenting as well. Uh, probably don't call it that way. No, they just call it... Um, the Spankers Club. The, the, the way we are. Or, yeah. um, or uh, doing doing what our parents did to us to our kids. Yes. Not or not growing or up. My kid doesn't listen any other way. Uh, <laughs> or, of course it works. Or. Uh, uh, and look how well I turned out. Yes. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. That's my favorite. And look at me, I'm okay. <laughs> God, God, I hate that when people do that. That's just so frustrating. <laughs> And well you just I want to shake right. them. And you just want to shake them Why and say, "You're not, can. mate. You're not okay." Hi, darling. How? Are, oh, look! You've made a dress out of the blanket. I'm going to put on number six, Snoop. Snoopy, come home. I'll put on Snoopy, come home. Okay, sweet, sweet. Top move. Top move. Bye, bye, darling. <laughs> bye, bye. Um, so that was the I point. I was sidetracked. What was that? Hmm? I can't remember the last thing I said. What was the last thing I said? The violent parenting. That's Banker's Club. The oh, talking about good. the violent parenting. Oh, group. just the, the idea that, that. Yes. Ah, no, no. Um, <sighs> the, the kids block it out. They block it out of their memory as well. They don't even remember. So many people don't even remember that their parents spanked them or hit them. That's pretty. That that's if that doesn't tell you something, right? That that they, they play it down because you always play down anything which is bad, right? You play up anything which is good, and you play down anything which is bad, right? You know, great becomes absolutely totally amazing. Wants and uh, me to play Snoopy's reunion. okay, okay, you can do that one, then. Anyway, the I don't like Snoopy's reunion. Anyway. Bottom line is that. Parents who spank need help. They don't need to be told that they're bad parents. What do you mean I need help? You need help. <laughs> you can't. You can't. No, it's too late well for you them. Ca- you, you can't, can't come change. and tell them they need help. They. What do you? What do you? You can't do anything. Lots you can't of pa- do look, anything. Okay, there there are two types of parents who spank their kids. Okay, there's the type that you just described, and there is the type that does it because they are helpless and they don't know how else to deal with these situations, and they lose it, and after they do it, they feel bad about it. What situations? What kind of situation would cause you to want to hit your own kid? I. I, I, I um, help me. Well, c- help okay, me. situation, for example. Oh, by the way, if I look really weird when I'm leaning over, it's because I'm trying to get between you and the light. It's You're in a hurry, okay? Imagine you've got three kids and you have to go and to a 
extremely important meeting, okay? Let's say your older kid has a toothache and you finally managed to get an appointment with a dentist and you have to go there with all the three kids because you have nobody to take care of the other two kids. So you're supposed to be out of door in, say, 15 minutes, usually plenty of time to get out of door, but your middle child... Where's my blanket? It's on me. You can take Zombie. it. Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> but your middle child throws a tantrum, right? So, um, I don't know, maybe they're tired, maybe, maybe, who knows? Maybe they just need to vent out some emotions, okay? They, they don't even have to throw a tantrum. I, Zora, what would Zora do? Zora would just say, I'm not getting dressed, right? And you cannot get her dressed. You cannot, okay? Mm -hmm. You can tell her anything you want. You can promise her anything you want. She'll say, okay, and then she'll start laughing and run away from you, right? You cannot turn it into a game because she just will not get dressed. And you're panicking, and your older kid has a sore tooth, and you need to go there, and you need to take all three kids, and you need to put her clothes on because it's minus 10 outside. At and which point you spend, at which point you hit. At which kid. point the parent gets completely helpless and spank the kid and put the clothes on and get them outside. I just, how does hitting the kid improve the situation? You get them outside. Yeah, but... You, you make it to the meeting and you, and you help your older child. Yeah, but child you say, you're saying that like hitting the kid means that you... Hit, 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 hit I'm not kid, saying like, it. it the kid, uh, yes, yes, because otherwise you. Why well, doesn't the person just get up earlier instead of having all that stress? Or did but it doesn't. Ma it doesn't matter when you get up. Hmm. It doesn't matter. With Zora, for example, right? We would get up at seven. I'm not saying that I that that's that I spanked her or anything like that. But we would get up in, at seven, and we would want to go outside at twelve, or half past twelve. And she would still not put her clothes on. Isn't that, hasn't there been some kind of modeling problem in, in, in the process where, <laughs> where uh, sh it hasn't been modeled for her that there, there's, a, there's a process that's involved, there are important elements. I'm uh, sure, that, that I'm sure there, there were lots of limits. things. I'm, I'm sure there were lots of things, but you're not, once you're in that situation, you can think all you want about it. You need to solve the situation. So, you see, I understand the parents that are so helpless that, you know, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to act around their kids. Not to act. They don't know how to um, communicate with their children so that their children listen to them. And they get into stressful situations where they don't know what else to do. And they spank the kids. Yeah, but they're not spanking the kids because the kids have done anything wrong. They're spanking the kids because they don't know what to do. Yes. Yes, exactly. It's not the kids' fault. Well, nobody's saying that it is. I'm just telling you that those parents... Well, they're kind help. of saying that the parents... Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> okay. Not saying that. Yeah. <laughs> the par that is exactly why the parents need help because... You know, you, you you can't help if somebody made a conscious decision that they're going to spank their child once a week just just so that the kid doesn't get too, I don't know, self-confident but uh, so or, or happy <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> but there are parents that don't want to, they, they do it, they don't want to do it. And they're open to any kind of help. So I wouldn't... Mm -hmm. judge a parent as a bad parent because he spanks his kids because you can always grow right yes um, I'm not sure that I I'm not sure that it's possible to to not judge somebody in, in those, those kinds of situations although <sighs> <sighs> judge not that you be judged yourself, but everybody has these these thoughts, right? Everybody has some kind of prejudice in their well, you, then you, judgment in their approach. Then you judge the actions, but you don't judge the person, as they say. Yeah, it's a very good, very good way to look at it. You know, you can 
We had a dissociate friend. the action from from the actual person. We had a we had a we had now a why friend. Now why am I wetting your blanket? Why are you wearing the? I put you you put on the warm clothes, well, and I I've said I'll I'll bring out the blanket. I put it on you there in case I get and, cold, and, and I brought out the blanket, arm, and, and you uh, complained. <laughs> oh yeah, there was this, you put it on me. Yeah. That little bit that was that was that yes. was stretched. Yes. Uh, all done for you. <laughs> I wrapped myself in the blanket <laughs> for you, <laughs> but I did it all for you. Oh dear. Don't you understand? Anyway, if you remember, oh, a story about that. We had a we had a friend who who would spank their kids. Oh. Hello. 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 Yes. We're are not we? we're not disturbing you, are we? It's oh. Uh, po, uh, máme být potichu? Jsme příliš hluční. Či? <laughs> Či jsme příliš hluční? Aha. Dobré, dobré, dobré. <laughs> Děkujeme. <laughs> Děkujeme. Děkuji pěkný. Well, that was nice. I thought I thought he was going to say we were too loud. Yeah, I thought we were going to get into trouble. Yeah, but we didn't. He said that he just wanted to say hello. Oh wow! And he said, uh, "Say hello to the little kids. They're very cute." <laughs> anyway, I don't, um, I don't know how to threw me off. I've, I've I feel so nice. It was very nice. Yeah. It's very nice. What a lovely thing to say. <laughs> What a nice man. He's a very nice man. It's actually the man who, who helped us when they turned the water off. Yes. Remember? Yeah. Oh. Who, uh, who was, you know, I rang his bell and he was like, oh, I'm just going downstairs. Did he live, did he live like above us? Or? Yes, he lives above us. But yes. that window. Was that? That window's not above us. That window is in the next block of flats. No, Darling. it's not. It's his bedroom. It's exactly above our bedroom. Oh, I take that back. I'm absolutely wrong. Ha 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 ha. Darling. <laughs> darling. Darling. Okay. All right, darling. All right, darling. You're all right. Uh, so. It is. Anyway, right. yes. Uh, yes. I was saying that we, we uh, used to have a friend who would choose a Don't nice... Don't speak to him in English? Yes. Oh, God. That was a good person um, in general. My brain is not in my head. But, uh, but they would spank their kids sometimes and I would judge the behavior as wrong but I wouldn't judge the people as wrong you know what I mean separating the action from the actor I just thought they don't know any better mm -hmm. you know and sometimes people don't want to be Are you <laughs> don't, don't want to change no sometimes people I'm just then shrugging my shoulders then why were you wearing the mic? <laughs> Oh, sure, actually. <laughs> anyway, I oh. kind of warmed myself up with it, and now I passed it on. So once I get cold again, you can pass it back over. Okay. The, the, the man has, 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 has uh, thrown, thrown me off, off balance. Now, I, I see. Nice, you're, not, nice. you're not used to I'm people not being nice to you. I'm not. Uh, I what? am, because what? I've got the kids with me all the time, and people are always nice because of the kids. So if I took the kids with me everywhere, everybody would be nice to me. Yeah. Uh. I'd be like, oh, such nice kids. Uh, uh, mm. Mm -hmm. Little did they know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's the time? Are we, are we being too I don't know what time we. Long? I don't know what time we started, and the the, the Facebook clock is not working now. I so think we I'm should completely. slowly maybe wrap it up. I mean, that person obviously just went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're not being any louder than whatever that is that's being loud over there behind that us. Is, that is a good point. I don't know what that is. It's being very loud. I think it's some kind of... I thought, like I thought, I thought Laurie mixer. was delivering, like, glass bottles or something, but... Uh, it sounds like a cement mixer, but... It sounds a bit more serious than that. But it would do that at this time. You think... That would be the perfect <laughs> time to do it because nobody would suspect it. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, what we're going to deal with this evening, what we're going to talk about this evening is 
I'm just kidding, actually. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> you got thought. me worried. Vaya. It was uh, Vaya. How do you pronounce that? Vaya. Vaya. Yeah. Ah, Vaya. I wasn't sure. Hi. Okay. You just imagine that she's waving back. You just have to imagine that people are waving back when yeah. you wave at them, don't you? Yeah, and okay. they say, hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> but we don't hear That's them. That's from, from film, isn't it? Yeah, it's Sah- Sahara. What was it? Oh, that one. That's <laughs> a great. That's a, films you need to see. Films you need to see. Sahara. Sahara. The Matthew, Matthew Mc- McGonaghy, what's his name? I don't know what's his name. What a fan. But he had that funny little friend. He just kept saying, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. He's, he's, he's super cool. What's the other one? The, the Fool's Gold is the other film with the same actor. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And that girl who appears in um, Glee as the dancer Glee. Is, is his partner. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. We never did finish watching all of Glee. No. We never did, did we? Oh, well, that's because the last series just didn't have the it didn't have that the, humor it didn't in it. It didn't have him in it, did it? No. Because he did and his stupid just, thing, didn't he? It was just he? more boring. Uh, the, the whole it became the more It became too serious, yeah, didn't exactly. it? Yeah, exactly. It had no, f- no funniness in it. It had... The, the, the comedy sort of yeah. disappeared. Yeah. And it sort of all like became about... Pro- Sylvester throwing tantrums and yeah, stuff. It all became know? about the, the production element, didn't it? So <gasps> okay, well, to go to sleep. I'm okay. going to have to finish now, I think. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm going to say bye bye to everybody who's out there, and um, yeah, um, you know you can all if you if you, if you get to the end if you watch the video if you like what's going on you can copy and paste it onto your Hi. timeline and tag people and they can join in the discussion and we can all talk about how to make the world a better place through through peaceful parenting and uh, solutions based on communication with each other rather than you know rather than force. Uh, we don't need to fight. Um, you know, <laughs> life is very short and there's no time for fussing and fighting, my friends. Uh, and always, always, always give, always, always, always give, give, give peace a chance, right? So uh, these are the things you have to do. If you're interested in the work that we do, the work that we are doing, then um, on my Facebook page, you can catch up with our daily email where I put out ideas and thoughts to hopefully make the world a more, what, more thoughtful place, brighter place, better place. Um, you know, I just share ways, strategies, ideas to, uh, to help with communication. And uh, you can also visit uh, the YouTube page for the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching. Uh, over a thousand videos on personal development there so uh throwing the stuff out for free and this is our test month we're testing out these uh these live shows this month and uh, if we get good enough feedback we'll do it in a more structured way next month so it's uh it's it, it's fun to uh it's fun to present the information and uh it's really nice to reach out and connect with people so um wherever you are this evening i hope that you will have sweet dreams and uh, I hope that you take a little bit of time to uh, live with gratitude for the things that you have in the world around about you, your family, your friends. Um, Just take a little bit of time to appreciate the opportunities that we get in in this life. Tra-la-la-la-la. Kids are inside. Watching Snoopy. Uh, Jazzy's going to bed. And uh, I might go look for some food, actually. So, uh, thanks very much. We'll be back again uh, tomorrow with another hour of ideas, inspiration, thoughts, conversation. Um, stay cool, guys. Stay cool. I'll speak to you very soon. It's uh, JNG signing out. Sweet dreams.